I love those, I've seen those here before. I'm still thinking about that couch. You guys, it's perfect. That couch is everything. Good morning. I'm still in bed. <laughs> Can you see it? Why are you saying good morning? <laughs> Special thanks to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. I'm trying to force myself to have a day off because I need it. I know I need it, <laughs> especially from the manual labor. I need it. I was like, I'm gonna sleep late. I'm not, you know, we're gonna do fun stuff and just chill and be my mom. Of course, I woke up at like 7.30. My brain's already making a to-do list like of things that I could get accomplished today and already talked to my contractor, <laughs> emailed the electrical company about some stuff. I'm trying. And my brain just never shuts off. So I was thinking on our day off, we could go to Warner's and eat lunch and go to the shopping part of Warner's where they have all the antiques and French stuff and just walk through. Cause I, have, I actually haven't been there in several months, which is crazy. Um, we've just been so busy and I'm craving pizza and I love their pizza. So we can go there. I do want to pick up another paint sample. <laughs> which is in Fredericksburg, so I feel like we should do that just to make the most of our time. Not work, just, you know, let's just pick up a paint sample. There's some thrift shopping there that we can do. So we should make some coffee. Coffee is just necessary, you know what I mean? Like, for life. <laughs> I didn't even start drinking coffee until college. And then I've never, never gone back. <laughs> watch an episode of a show that I haven't been able to watch on Netflix. You know, there's tons of those that I need to catch up on. I totally forgot I was gonna turn on a show. And I was like, I wonder what, if I can find that light that I saw at that one store that one time in Austin for the island. I don't know why, I, my mind's on lighting lately. Found this light. You see that light? Isn't that pretty? I love the shape of the glass on the inside. I was worried at first that it might be a little bit too industrial, but I don't think it is. I think I, I really like it. So I'm actually trying to see if I can find this light online. I found this one, but it's not the same. It's a, a similar look, but you see how this metal kind of comes down on the sides and there's a ring. This one looks more industrial to me. And I have a spot for two of them uh, above the island. Now that the walls are finished in there for the kitchen, I'm gonna work on that beadboard. And I don't know, it got me thinking about the lighting in that space, like the chandelier that's gonna go in the dining room and then also the two pendants over the island because I think that they need to be really cohesive. And I'm hoping that we're kind of getting to that point after the sheetrock goes up. Can you imagine? Oh my God. It's like 11.30 now. <laughs> So I definitely did rest in bed, but I was looking for lighting. My mom is so good at looking for lighting, so I think I'm going to ask her if she would like to help me find that one light online so that we can see, you know, we gotta shop the prices. We have to see where, who has the best prices, where we can get it, what time it can come in kind of thing. We're getting ready, my mom's getting ready too. We're gonna go eat lunch first, I think. Just to wherever the day takes us. ongoing struggle for me. I never have anything to wear. I really hope that I'm not that hot. This isn't very thick, but it is kind of like long sleeves, but I hope I'm not hot in this. I just have more fall, winter things here than summer like cute clothes because I when I came here, it was like dead of winter, you know? So I just haven't, I've only been back to LA once, um, but I have my like more cropped pants on. I don't know, it feels kind of cute, right? I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear, but this will just have to do. And I really do love this shirt. It's just like so chic. I think it's from Shein, like 
I got it thrifted, but I think it was originally from Shein. I'm just waiting for my mom to finish getting ready. So I thought I'd share some things that I got from Thrive Market. We were in desperate need of a few things that we use all the time, like olive oil and spirulina. Let's see. And Thrive Market is a membership-based market, and they have two options. You can do monthly, or you can do an annual subscription, and it drops to $5 a month. And you save on tons of products that support fair trade, ban GMOs, and they all prioritize sustainability. So just overall good products. For every person that signs up for a membership, they also sponsor a free one for a family, teacher, student, veteran, or first responder in need. And all their touching is recyclable. And I just ordered great products that we use all the time. We got, we got coconut oil sweet potato chips with sea salt. Some of their chips come in, in a pack of two. Yeah. So I got two of those. Olive oil, I told you, we, we go through olive oil and spirulina like crazy. Organic extra virgin olive oil from the Thrive Market brand. I could not not get these. If you know, you know. The best chips ever. Love them. They're barbecue flavored grain free puffs and they're made with coconut oil. The best. Sometimes I'm craving something sweet and Romeo does all the time. And these are from Smart Sweets. The brand, um, so they're only three grams of sugar. So I figured I'd try them out, see if they're good. Spirulina, we put this in our smoothies every day. I didn't have one today. Maybe not every day, but I, we, every time we have a smoothie, we put this in there along with like fruits and vegetables, like spinach and stuff. So it's really good for you. And vitamin D gummies. So this is like the best brand too, Nordic Naturals. And so my mom recommended these to me and they had them on Thrive Market. And Thrive Market is not just a market for groceries. They have safe supplements. They have home goods. I've ordered candles from them before. If you're on a specific diet like keto, you can sort out all of those products too. So it's super easy to navigate their website and find what you're looking for. Thrive Market is committed to making healthy living affordable and available for every family. They're also on a mission to be the world's first climate positive grocery store. That's pretty cool. So if you join today, you can get 25% off your order and a free gift and let me know what products you love from them and I'll try them. If you order, get these. They also have an auto ship feature. So if you order things like this all the time and you need them like kind of like a pantry staple, then you can set up auto ship and then they come like regular. So I probably should really do that for this. All right, on his mama ready to go? I don't know. Yay, and we're off to Fredericksburg. Hi, mama. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta eat first, Warners. It's 1 30. I'm storming. I'm waiting. Just wait. I have to go to Vaudeville sometimes, too. Oh, yeah, Vaudeville's good, too. You get a what day is their fried chicken? Sunday, and you're always posting. That's okay. Oh, we have arrived. This place makes me so happy. I can't believe we haven't been. Ah. Oh man, drop my phone. Mommy, you know we haven't been here in like two months. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll shop after. Yeah. But we could peek in. That she walks in. I know. We'll be here after. Those are new stuff. I know. I know. I know. There's new stuff. Let's go eat. <laughs> We always do that. We always walk in there first. I am hungry. Don't do it! <laughs> There's two doors! There's two entrances! Okay, let's see. Love it in here, too. Pizza, margarita with pepperoni. They take mine off. The Angelina. My pizza's not on here anymore. There used to be an Angelina pizza, right? Angelina pizza, yes. Oh, you used to have it. I didn't see it. I believe we have it now. We're gonna get you with the Iced tea, the watermelon iced tea. Yeah. I hope they still have it. They don't have the Angelina on the menu. Also, their house salad, house special salad is so good. The, with the pears and candy pecans. Oh my god. They'd invite us to go see y'all. Oh. What'd you get, Mama? A black and tomato base soup. Yeah. Finished eating. Got a vanilla latte. They have the best coffee at that place too, so I always get it once we're done eating. So now let's shop. <laughs> I love it here. Oh my god, why is it so pretty here? You guys, I think I just found the couch. Look at these legs. Look at those legs. Holy cow. 
I have to sit in it. Wait, let's sit in it together. Don't even tell me the price. I don't like the color, the shape. Look at the shape, you guys. It's perfect, it's perfect. So here are all the samples that this couch comes in, all Lee samples. So we're looking through, oh, it's kind of appropriate that it's Lee, McKenna Lee, anyways. <laughs> we're just kind of looking through, seeing the fiber content. So this is linen. Oh, this is pretty but it's so thin, it's probably not as durable. Yeah, medium duty. You guys, I'm always obsessed with this print. Tell me why. I think it's looked like the toile in the house that I found and I'm like obsessed with it. I mean, I'm gr I gravitate towards it. I know it's not for everyone, but I like that, that it's not for everyone. I love it. Pretty turn legs. Mm -hmm. I love those, I've seen those here before. So textural. Drink room. Look, bamboo. Oh my God, we can make some. My favorite little nook. <laughs> my little library. I love this library so much. I want mom to take a picture of me here. I think we got some cute pictures. Look at this old chalkboard. It's kind of cool. Oh. $7.95. Just too much here. Mm -hmm. Oh god, it's so heavy. Go over here and look at this couch one more time because I am obsessed. Obsessed. Just not in that color, obviously. The couch. <laughs> now we both want the couch. <laughs> We went to Austin. If you guys saw that video, uh, our Romeo and I went to all these different furniture places because I knew furniture, if I wanted to special order it in a certain color, certain fabric, um, was going to take a while. And it was like 30 weeks or something like that. And he even said it was what, six months? Yes, six months. If you don't buy something that's already made it in stock. When we went, we went all over, we looked all different furniture places and everything just looked too now, too modern, too contemporary, in shape, very beautiful, very like, you know, everything I liked was very like California casual, you know, it was like squared off, con comfortable kind of thing, and I just feel like the cottage needs something unique. I wanted really unique legs or a shape or maybe some tufting. There it is, there, there she is. You know, when you see it, you just, that that's the shape. Now that particular couch was very pink. It looked, had some pink undertones and the color was even what, rose? Mm -hmm. Something. Yeah, that's not, that's not it. I can't have a pink couch. I'll always see the pink, even though that one will be much cheaper because it's already made. Um, and they were having some kind of sale, but it ain't it. They had a blue one. No, no way. Um, it was like a light blue with gray legs. I mean, that's a couch you were willing to wait for. We could see what's in stock at other places that carries Lee furniture and stuff like that. And we could also look on, we'll look online when we get home at all the other shapes because there's chairs. You can get the couch in a love seat or a three seater or a four seater. Extra add ons. Add ons. <laughs> <laughs> now we're at the thrift store Hill Country Memorial Thrift Shop. <sighs> Mom used to have these. Where were the yellow house? I still have them. $32 for a set, set of eight. eight. <laughs> Those came from like Walmart. They're crazy. <laughs> I actually came in here, what, last week when I found that Chase. Oh my gosh, if you guys haven't seen on Instagram, I shared I found a Chase. I bought it. $45.
I'll put in a picture for you. I already picked it up. It's already at my parents' house. Um, but I was like, I need this. It would be perfect for one of the cottage, like one of the smaller cottages or just to use in general. I felt like it was like a steal for $45. Mom, they have all your whole collection. Look, we had these growing up as a kid. <laughs> Those other glasses we had when, oh, no. you know. I got these before your brother was born. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys have been asking me if I have sibli siblings. I have a brother. He's older than me. He's what, 10 years older than me? Ten and a half years older than me. His name is Jason. He's only made one vlog appearance. Cause I mean, we didn't see each other. For, we haven't seen each other for a year and a half because obviously, obvious reasons. But the Christmas before that, uh, we were doing like a gingerbread contest. I'll put it in the clothes for you. Cause my brother is hilarious. <laughs> He's so crazy. He's cute. He's cute. Okay. He's my brother. Little brass candle holders. A dollar for the set. Fifty cents. Wait, you guys, I think I need this to clean it up, but I like that it's like like faded. That's so cute to work in the house. A cute little basket for the pop-up. Um, hi. Look at this. This is pretty rocking chair. But it's $2.75 antique wooden cane floral carved folding rocking chair. She's in pretty good shape, except for right here. Oh! <gasps> That was epic. I, I spent three dollars and twenty-five cents. I got this set of little little baby brass candle holders. I don't know why I'm obsessed with those skinny taper candles. I was like, oh no, they're cute. These were a set for a dollar, so fifty cents a piece. And then I got this little basket for the people like it was really like you know kind of bohemian. A dollar fifty. That'll go in our pop-up stuff. And. This hat that I need to desperately clean. Dog mom. I've been actually wanting a ball cap like this, like a black one, to wear down at the house because my ponytail can go through the back. I don't know. I know it's black, so it's not gonna keep like, it's gonna heat up, but like in the house and stuff, I just, I thought it was cute. Dog mom, I thought that was so cute. You gotta clean it up. My mom went back in to pay for something. I'm still thinking about that couch. That couch is everything. I, w I want to find the perfect fabric. If we're going to custom order one, I want it to be perfect in what I want if we're going to have to wait that long. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in everything. Like they wouldn't let us check out the fabric swatches. So I'm going to bring in the paint swatches. I'm going to bring in a piece of the wainscoting that's going to go in the house that I want the stain to stay original to what's there so that I can get a feel for like everything and make sure that what the fabric we're looking for is like the right one. I know that I don't want a light colored couch. I gravitate towards light colored couches all the time. So I told myself the next couch has to be darker. Here I go working. <laughs> I want to get a paint sample of the Manchester tan color that I'm kind of playing around with for the trim on the house, but in a 50% strength. So it's going to be only 50% of the color added to the paint because I think that's the way to go. It has the perfect undertones, but it's just a 50% too dark. It's too much of a contrast between my, like the house base color that I picked, so. Why didn't you make my bed while I was gone? Why didn't you make our bed? Oh, thank you. I love that couch. Should we look up the other pieces <laughs> and see what we can see online? Oh, wow. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. Well, not all of it, but you know what I mean. Found it. Wait, and they come in the three, the two armless on one side, a little ottoman, <laughs> a chair, leather. We're looking at the plans to see how wide my living room is. So it's 15 foot wide from the window wall to the opposite wall, so this width. So I imagine the couch sitting here and then two chairs here or two, you know, however it kind of, I didn't want to put chairs on this side because of the door. I'm gonna visualize it. Okay, so if this was my couch where it stopped there, there would be four foot on the side of the couch to the wall. So this right there, where your toes are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's that much walking room. So if I had a side table next to the couch on each side, it would just need to be skinnier than that. My mom was like, just make little diagrams, little cutouts. 
of the sh this exact sizing of the pieces of furniture and then you can kind of move them around and see which way the furniture works best. So these are to scale. So all of these drawings are a quarter of an inch equals one foot. So I just drew that in a couch form. There's the chase. Then we got just the couch with no chase. I said that so aggressive, couch. <laughs> just, the couch. just the couch with no chase. And then two chairs. Here's the chase idea. It would be like positioned here. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. So these were the original two chairs that we had that match the couch. So they were like that shape, way too big. Like they're, they're 42 inches deep by 37 inches wide. That's a big chair. So that was like a no-go, they were way too big. So I redid those, then made a chair size that was like more comparable. So these are like 34 by 30 chairs. Like this chair right here. That's a nice size chair. You know what I mean? We don't need anything too big. So with that here, with a little side table maybe in the center, and I was going back and forth between the chase and just the three-seater couch. So if the chase is here, it makes for a very awkward shape for a coffee table. You see, and I've had a chase like this before and it's just the coffee table's off center. It just is, it is awkward, even though I love a chase because I love to like lay down here. I just feel like the couch makes most sense. Set away from the door and then a coffee table and then we could do like two poofs here or something, something lower so that it doesn't obstruct the view going outside. It doesn't really hinder this kind of space going outside. That's kind of what I've been playing with. I mean, we'll still play with it a little bit, but I, I definitely, I, although I would love a chase and I love that shape, it just doesn't make sense. Um, so the three seater couch is definitely the way to go. I'm not on that. I think I'm gonna play with this for a little longer and see. So if you guys wanted to play with furniture in a future home, just, make them to scale and play around with it and see how it works out. Okay, so it is much later, <laughs> much later now, it's like nine o'clock. I had some work to do, obviously. I could not just take the day off. I found a couch, I did my layout, I had some meetings, I made some phone calls. But still overall, it was a more relaxing day than doing manual labor. So we're gonna watch an episode of Fixer Upper. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. But don't forget, you guys get 25% off your first order with Thrive Market by joining today and a free gift. So check that out. I'm gonna play with Kinsley, watch Fix Your Up, right, Mama? I think this is not the right episode. This is an old episode. Yeah, Mom, this is not it. This is so old. <laughs> oh, you gave me the remote. Season one, episode one. She doesn't age. Yeah, his hair is long, but that's now. I once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I 